What is up guys, welcome to another video and today we're gonna be working on the 350Z once again. A few videos ago you saw me installing the energy bucket seats. Now what you don't know is that a I was actually looking for red bucket seats, but there were none that fit my budget. So I went with the black energy seats, but with one condition that I would get myself the red harnesses. But to install the harness, I actually needed a harness bar. Do not make the same mistake that I did and buy the harness bar for the 350Z, not a universal one like the one I got. Although universal harness bars fit well on many cars, on the 350Z it doesn't really work because of the speaker panel that we have behind the seat. Not many cars have them. The 350Z has it and it gets on the way of the install. It was a pain for me to install. So I recommend you guys to buy the one for the Z. I'll keep the link down below for both. The 350Z harness bar and the one that I went with. The cheapest option is not always the best one. In this install, the harness bar actually comes first. So I remove the seats. You gotta remove the top part of the seat belt because that's the same place that the harness bar is gonna connect to. So the rear link to the harness bar, that's where my issues came. Because the bar would hit the speaker box or it wouldn't have the right angle for me to bolt it to the floor. After a while trying it on and off camera, I got it done. So there were actually two bolts that go to the regular seat belt bolts and two other nuts and bolts that actually go to the floor of the car. And now it's time to install the harness itself. There are actually five pieces to this. On this install, I have not installed the fifth point, which is the one that goes between your legs. I ended up never installing that one because I had to drill through the floor again and I didn't want to do it. So I actually installed a four point harness. For the two bottom pieces, I used the bolt that holds the seat belt into place. I just reused that, it worked fine. And for the rear ones, you just need to actually have it through the harness bar. You should never bolt the, the top parts to the floor because on a crash it's gonna pull you down and it can actually do damage to your spine. There is a correct way for it to go through the harness bar and around it, so I'll leave it down below a proper way to do because on this video I did not do it right. So on the next drift event I had to fix it, but I already have it fixed. It's fine now so look down below for the correct way to do it guys so now it's time to test it one thing that i would recommend to you is keep the oem seatbelt because if you're like me and you like to drive the car on the street it's kind of a pain if you forget to close the door you can't reach it because there's no wiggle room at all like you there in place it's great for the track but for street driving i wouldn't recommend it so i kept both and that's the best thing you could do as always i appreciate you guys watching and liking the videos that helps me a lot make sure you subscribe if you want more installs like this and i'll see you guys in the next project as always